What's up, everybody? Noah Kisser back here for your daily video, and Happy New Year. It's 2018. This is my first official review of 2018. I already have a review for a 2018 movie up, and that is Paddington 2. Now, I'm going to go into this later in my next video, but I'm going to count this as a 2018 movie because I saw it in 2018, and it's still expanding to more theaters. But anyways, The Disaster Artist. James Franco plays Tommy Wiseau. And Dave Franco plays Tommy's friend named Greg. Tommy talks Greg into making a movie called The Room. And this is pretty much them just making The Room and what goes, and what goes along with it. This movie was great it's not best of the year material to me i mean i loved it a lot i loved it a lot but i didn't love it as much as i loved spider-man homecoming or wind river it split any of that but the disaster artist is a fantastic I'm going to call it a biography dramedy. James Franco did such a fantastic job playing Tommy Wiseau. I was afraid of one thing in this movie. He's going to be way l too much larger than life than the original Tommy Wiseau was. Tommy Wiseau is a outrageous human being. <laughs> he is awesome though. They did such a good job of portraying Tommy Wiseau in this movie, and I believe I watched an interview or saw a video or read something that said Tommy Wiseau was actually helping with the filming of this movie. He was actually giving him pointers on how to act like him. Um, I can't really tell you that I like The Room. I don't like The Room. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. It's a bad movie. One thing I don't like is that they try and draw you in with Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is in it for, ooh, roughly 15, 20 minutes of this movie. He doesn't play a decent enough role for me to care that he's on the uh, pay grade. But A24 continues to absolutely kill it with their films. And James Franco did a good job directing this film. And I believe he helped adapt it from the uh, Disaster Artist book. This was a very funny movie. To a degree. When they're filming all these scenes over and over again, like the famous, I, I did not hit her scene. It got a little bit repetitive, and I understand why it was in there, but you didn't need to show that to me over and over again. It was funny the first, it was funny the first, I want to say, two times, but then it just got a little bit repetitive for my taste. But I did really like The Disaster Artist. This one I don't regret not putting on my top list of the year. Lady Bird, I do. I do have more reviews coming to you guys from 2017. But I will get into that one in my next video in which I'm going to do reviews by month. It is going to be the title of the video. This is going to be me basically telling you what movies I am going to review that, or I plan to review, that are in theaters by week, month. Uh, I will also be doing all of the new straight-to-DVD and Blu-ray movies, as well as the kids' titles like Deep and Treasure Hound, because you guys really like those for some reason. And I'm, and I'm like, okay, maybe some of you have kids, or maybe some of you... Are in charge of babysitting. Or you got. Two. Brothers or sisters. And you just want to. Sit them down and have them shut up for a good five minutes. 
I'm like five minutes to two hours sometimes. Fine. But I'm going to give The Disaster Artist an A-. minus. I liked it a lot. As always, guys, if you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, I am so sorry, but you clicked on stupid thing. But if you did, please like the video, leave a little comment down below, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time.